All right. Well, guess what? We're live. We are live, Mother Trucker. Pat, Gad, say live something. and alive. Well, we are alive, and we are live. That's the whole reason. <sighs> that's the whole meaning behind live is you're alive. COVID nineteen negative. Knock on wood, mink ya. Knock on one, mingo, yes, the fuck out. So what were you about to say? So your laptop crashed. You uh, you originally wanted to go on your laptop, obviously. You didn't want to do your phone. So what I happened? watched you live, was talking to you lot while you were live, and my computer crashed. So right. now I have to reinstall all my I, software. I would blame my live stream. You're talking about the one the other night, right? Probably crashed my computer. That's it. We were too dirty. We were too, uh, we were too R-rated for you. So, um, how's everything else going? It's good. We, um, I did a, I did a quick live stream earlier. Uh, I did a, a quick movie review with Mooney. We did, uh, for, uh, for the movie 1917. And then I wanted to come on with you. I was trying to get you on the, the, the show earlier. Um, cause I, I really want to yeah, see how this looks. No, it's, it's a miscommunication. It was my fault. Um, but, um, I want to see what this looks like with more than two people because you can get, like I said, you can get up to six. So I thought it'd be cool. Nobody else is around. No. No, I mean, everybody else is around. You think about it, no one else is really doing anything, but just not for my show. But anyway, cheers. I'm drinking Prosecco. That's what's on the menu tonight. I'll be grabbing mine in a minute. Well, what are you going to drink? So you then? really feel from earlier your conversation with James, you still think 1917 was robbed? Was yes, yes, I do. Um, and I do. Also, I um, it. I discovered later later on in the stream because I I didn't realize that uh, it was like nine movies total that were nominated. I thought it was still five, but I I think they I think they expanded to nine. Uh, I forgot about Jojo I didn't, Rabbit. I think it was that many. Wow. Yeah, I know. I forgot about. I completely forgot about Jojo Rabbit. I didn't even see that movie. There he is, the legend. There the legend, he is, Jimmy Mooney. Dude, I haven't spoken to this kid in years. Time to get on. Get on or get off. Well, he might be getting off. That's why he's not on. Um. Why? Dude, whatever. Uh, so yeah, I forgot about Jojo Rabbit, um, which was a really good movie. Uh, obviously. Okay, I'm on live. Uh, who? Video, Joe. Show on live TV. Joe, who? We're on live TV. On live Facebook. Oh, you can't hear me. It's not yeah. Facebook. It's YouTube. Fuck out of here. It's YouTube. Yeah. She's baking a storm over here. You know. Yeah, I can smell it. It smells really good. Me, Tell I, I smell the lemon. It smells cup. good. Mink, your lemon ricotta. Fuck out of here. You're not having any. It's all for me. <laughs> you worked hard. You all right? Yep. Going, uh. So, what did you do today besides work out? You know, I, I, and so I, I actually said two this. Hour, so, I did a two hour home workout. I know. Well, I, I actually commented this on the last stream, and um, I was kind of hoping you were either watching or you were going to come on and see it. But, uh, what did you say? as I did say to you <laughs> while you were FaceTiming, you do have the option not to take calls when you're shirtless. Uh, I don't need to see that. I do have the option, but. You know, if you're working like out in the, the comfort call. of your own home and you're, you're you know, you're, you're working up a dude sweat or doing whatever you're doing. And I you and I happen to FaceTime you at that very moment. You have the option to decline a phone call. All these people out. I have been enjoying this, though. Yeah. Working out at home is actually enjoyable. No, no I'm not saying anything against that. I mean, you got to do what you got to do to stay fit during this shit. But no. um I'm saying that when people call you, especially the video, the visualization of everything, I'm saying you don't actually ex have to accept the phone call. I don't really need to see you, you know, pumping some uh, old detergent or whatever other detergent you were pumping. Arm and pumping Hammer. detergent, you know what I'm saying? Wait, was that Arm and Hammer? That was Arm and Hammer and some good old Tide. Some good old... Uh... So here's what I don't understand. So James just sent in another comment. But apparently we don't have any viewers, so I don't understand how he's doing. How can you send in a comment without actually watching the show? What are you doing? But he says, so what are you guys talking in. about? Just a regular hangout show? 
Yeah, just well, tell them to come in and talk. I mean, you can either come and talk or you can watch and then you can actually hear what we're talking about. So what are you doing? How? What's his uh, work status? How is he doing? So he uh, his hours got cut to eight hours a week, but he's been working from home even before this happened. Uh, they were giving him the option to work from oh, home. Shit. So um, I think he's picking like Wednesdays and Thursdays, four hours a day just to, you know, do whatever. Keep a little busy, yeah. Yeah. And my girlfriend tried the, uh, the you know the um, the department, whatever it is, wherever you got to go to fucking uh, in unemployment. Uh, yeah, yeah, kept crashing How on her. Go? Like, dude, it's just literally just kept crashing, nonstop. I mean, it's it's eleven hundred dollars a week. Where are you talking about eleven? Where is this eleven hundred dollars a week coming from? What are you talking about? So you get six hundred on top of whatever file, whatever claim you get. See, we were just talking. Me and James were just talking about this earlier. Um, I have a copy of it. I he's just, getting I workers. My... He's getting uh, not workers' copy. He's getting uh, unemployment. He got like two eighty. No, and then the six hundred was added today. Tell him to go on the website today and look. They added a six hundred dollar check. Well, James, if he, he has it being. He taxed, said he's watching. Then so... it will be lower. Well, yeah, he's got him to go on unemployment.com. and if he's he does have a tax. Yeah, he picked the option so to have then the tax. six hundred comes out to four and change, on top of what he's already getting. On top of what you're getting, yep. So this so, is going to, so this is going. So honestly, me and you are still not benefiting if we were working, because we could also make close to a thousand with tips and a check if we have a really good solid week. After taxes and everything, you're looking at almost seven and change after taxes are done. So it's not the most amazing check in the whole wide world they're going to get it back in taxes again well i wait so what do you what are you saying you're basically saying that unemployment is lower than what we would have made normally in so a week. unemployment before taxes for us would be five five oh four then you get the six hundred dollar check okay and that's eleven hundred if well, you Pat, tax eleven hundred it's like seven and change let me explain a little something to you let me let me uh let me break it down for you um I was, I was, uh, what's the word? Um, Jesus, why the fuck can't I think of the word right now? When somebody, uh, oh, I was advised by my law firm for the workers comp that I should stay on workers comp, even though I, I mean, I need to anyway, cause I'm still, I'm still injured. So it's not I like, I don't think you should get that check. Yeah. Well, when you consider that I'm only getting $700 every two weeks, so that comes out to three fifty. What is it? Three fifty. Uh, three fifty a week. Less than that, actually. I'm only getting three fifty a week for workers' comp. So, um, what you're telling so you're me, getting, right? So you're so you're getting robbed. I'm definitely getting robbed. So I, I mean, I was file. also I was also supposed to get a uh, surgery, and during the recovery of a uh, during the recovery of my surgery, my my rate would have been bumped up. I would have been making a, a little over five a week. Um, but I get paid every two weeks with workers' comp. That's still not the same as eleven hundred. No, but eleven hundred dollars is before taxes, correct? It's before taxes. So if you think about it, after you do the taxes, it's seven and change. Well, still a lot more than what I'm making now, since I make seven hundred dollars every two weeks. Yeah, yeah. Which I would contact your lawyer and ask. Well, I was. But they to... are saying that people that let's say it. it they don't start unemployment this week or next week. The 12 to 13 weeks gets locked in when you start unemployment. Okay. But they are saying that people are also going to get more than one $1,200 check in the mail as well. All They're right. They're still figuring that bill out. All right. We'll see about that. I, uh, but uh, yeah. at the same time. I mean, I logged on today. I'll take a screenshot of what I saw. And I'm getting two two checks. So. I have to see. And then the other thing is too, that I was talking to you about as well is that I'm a little confused about what's going to happen. So obviously right now I'm on workers comp, but once I get cleared to go back to work and obviously because the job is closed, I'm going to by default have to fill out a for unemployment file for unemployment. How does that work? You know, I just, I don't know. This has never happened. This is un unprecedented. So I really don't know what the fuck, you know, I really don't know what to do. When you file for unemployment, it also says, have you been on disability? So you will be capable. What? It's ask if you were on workman's comp or disability. Right. So if it was something work related or something physical, 
but you were still able to maintain a job, you still are approved to get unemployment. I mean, I would, I would assume so. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I saw that it asked me those questions. All right. All right. Well, that's good to know. And James, I, I know James has been wondering about that too, because like I said, I mean, granted, he's yeah, also, to log on today. They added it, but he's also still working, uh, you know, I mean, obviously the, um, the, almost at the very minimal, he's only working eight hours a week. So he's still getting a check from his job as well, but he literally got less than $300. So, I mean, it's just like, I don't know. Okay, so they'll prorate it. So basically, they prorate it. If you were only working one day out of the week, then four days, uh, five days out of the week, then they prorate it. Got it. Yeah. Well, I mean, the other thing that sucks is I was supposed to get, as I said, I was supposed to get surgery. I had a doctor's appointment slated for today, but obviously that was uh, that was uh, that's canceled because they're not they're not having regular appointments because obviously the social distancing, you can't be around um, whatever. So I got to wait to even go to the doctor. So what I'm going to do is obviously towards the end of the month, I'm going to call them up. Hopefully things will be a little bit, a little bit better where they're taking appointments again. And, and also at the same time. So I, I didn't realize this because I was, um, who was I talking to? Was it you? No, it couldn't have been you. Cause you didn't come on here. I think it was when I was talking to Mike the other night. With what? And I said, uh, when I was talking to Castelli, when I was live, I had said that, um, you know, original the original diagnosis said that this this uh, injury generally takes anywhere up from from a year to almost a year and a half. And then I, my thought process, because I didn't go out of work until the end of May, that that's when the year was. But in actuality, I started getting I I got hurt and I started feeling this pain at the beginning of April. So it's it's a year now. So that's why my thought process now is basically what I'm alluding to is hopefully by the end of this month. Because it actually has been a full year now, it'll yeah. start to get better. And knock on wood, I won't even need the surgery. That's I what think it'll get better. For. Yeah, it's. I'm not gonna lie; it's already starting to feel better. I I have been very sore, but like I said, um, in a previous stream, and I've even told you, I think, um, I also have been using it a little bit more. Uh, you know, I wanted to move things around in this room. I, you know, obviously, I needed people's help, so they helped me with that with any heavy lifting. But I did use it. A little bit more than I have, so I think maybe that's the room why. Came but, out good. What? Thank you, thank you. Um, hopefully good. soon. Um, thanks, Pat. That's good news to come. Hopefully, yeah, uh, exactly. If James, if that's very, I mean, he should log on now and check it out. I'm telling you, it's definitely on the. Well, website I'm telling you today. right now, this is actually true because, and and you're not the first person to say this, Pat. Everybody kept saying about how this is unemployment on steroids and how. Uh, people are going to really benefit. It's not only about the the amount but of, but it's not unemployment on steroids. I did the math. It's really not. Well, but it's also not even a restaurant worker makes more money than this steroid check you're getting in the mail. But no, no, no. But you're yeah. also you're not you're going towards salary. No one is saying that this is supposed to match or make or make it even more than what you're making. Uh, had you been working on a normal basis, the thing oh, yeah, is a normal unemployment check is a fraction is generally usually a fraction of what you make. Yeah. Well them doing this was a huge help and they're extending. It's not, not even and the other that. thing is too. A lot of people, I don't think a lot of people realize is it's not even about the amount they've given you. Um, James was telling me that his benefits actually said now, I mean, hopefully, hopefully none of us have to use it that long. You might, your mic is muted. Yeah, I know. I was just saying, okay, I'm sorry. Like to, uh, yeah, no, do what you gotta do. Um, the uh, it's not even about the amount you're getting, but they're they're even extending the benefits to a year just in case you need it. Yeah, well, benefits. Well, I know union benefits are definitely going to be covered. We're good with that. A lot of good things out of it. Yeah, well, um, guess who's not covered medically? This guy. Who? Me. I'm not covered medically. Why? Because apparently, back in November, uh, I exhausted my uh, um, my union benefit, my my health benefits. Even if you call to make payment to pay union dues? Oh, I don't know about that. I mean, how am I going to pay union dues if I'm not? I don't even, honestly, I don't even know what's going on. So what comp. you can do is say, I sent a return to work letter to my employer. I would like to start pay, paying my employer dues. Yeah, that's all funny. My union dues. So I can Remember, but, but the key word is I have to send that, I have to get that note first. First of all, I have to go to the doctor to get cleared back. Um, right now I'm not, I, I, I'm not, I can't lie. I can't go to the doctor and say, Hey, 
write me a note. I'm hoping by the end of the month, it'll be better. But what I'm saying is no. I'm still not covered. I think you could get that coverage going though. If you say that you sent the return to work letter to your employer, I think you can start getting your union dues taken out. Well, you need to that's out what of, they're taking out of what they send. They'll send you something where you could pay it through your direct deposit. Yeah. Pay, um, pay, it, pay it with what? Uh, I'm not getting any checks right now. Everything's on hold right now. Well, you could back pay it. You could start a back pay. That's what they told me. I don't know. I have no idea. I don't know. But yeah, uh, hopefully my, uh, Hopefully I can get to my uh, get to someone at the lower office tomorrow and say, "Hey, listen, um, I'm yeah, only making cold. I would be on that, but I mean that's also f not for now. That's just a, an um, I'm just inquiring for um, when I'm actually better. I can't, you know, whatever. Uh, you know, I don't want to lie for the purpose of getting more money because I'm not. I'm yeah. not about that. If I'm still, if it's still bothering me, which is it's genuine, I'm not lying. Um, then uh, I'm not going to do that. But um, anyway, so uh, obviously, I know you're working out because you accepted the phone call. Then, what um, what else did you do today besides go to key food? Nothing. We've just been arranging the house, cleaning. It's like a basic Same. spring cleaning, anyway. Yeah. Same. It's good. You know? The only problem with the spring cleaning and then getting everything, uh, you know, um, fresh and, uh, you know, uh, dust free is that, uh, all that, uh, all that dust that you're activating, uh, gets, uh, you know, uh, what do you call it? Activates the allergies and shit. Yeah. That's what happened to me today. It was crazy. Yeah. But I mean, it's good. We have the time to do this now. So we well, why don't we spring? Yeah. You know, nobody's ever thought of this. Why not spring clean in the winter? That wouldn't it make more sense? It would. Right? That is true. No, it's not. I mean, that was just a stupid joke. Have you been on the Bell Parkway lately? No, I haven't actually. I, I, I drove to Long Island on the weekend and it was dead. No, no, no. no sure not the actual Bell. No, no, no. The, 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 the oh, running? Yeah. I did a walk with uh, Bina the other day and then... Yeah, I did. A, actually, I did two long walks last week, too. All right. I was going to walk to the store tomorrow. Um, but now that uh, now that I know that I got to get a few uh, few extra items at the store, um, you know, just uh, whatever, just for the house, I'm going to drive. I haven't I haven't started my car in over a week. Have you even moved it? No, I wouldn't. I don't have to. There's no alternate side. I know it's a blessing. It's been literally. Right in front of my house. I mean, when you get a spot like that, when you get that, uh, when you get that ideal real estate, or should I say, prime real estate, something like that, prime you know, spot. You don't even want to move it, but no. But uh, I have to, I have to go, to, I have to go to Key Food tomorrow. I have to get a few things for the house that were running out. Like she milk. went today. Yeah, uh, but I'm not fucking around this time because the last time I went, it was packed. I'm not, I'm wearing a mask. I'll we, I'll even wear gloves if I have to. I'm tired of coming back. Yeah, I think everyone floor. has to wear a mask. The thing is, I know it's in my head, but I'm tired of coming back from stores like that, whether it's Target, whether it's Key Food, or even the corner store. And if there's more than like two people in there, um, I mean, obviously there's going to be more than two people in Key Food, but I just feel every time, like I feel like I'm coming down with something and, and that's not good and I don't want to do that. So. Yeah, you got to be careful. Yeah. I I even go I even go a step further. I wear a condom now when I'm out. Just in case. <laughs> no, dude, no. You don't. You're gonna let you don't know. Even... Yeah, you don't know what these fucking people have, man. No, I'm not no. It's true. You don't know. You could wear one on every finger. No, I, well, I guess all I guess eleven fingers then, right? That's right. You got it, bro. So when are we hanging out, bro? I can't wait to get sick. Where when are we hanging out? I'm ready, man. I'm fine. I've been quarantined myself. Yeah, we're all we're all quarantined. You know that, right? Yeah, but none of us are sick. Like I think that they should be sending these test kit homes, these test kits to people at home, so they could stop ignoring their own family members. Instead, I think it's really stupid. But that's my yeah. opinion. You know, not I mean, yes and no. Me. The problem with that is, I mean, then then you uh, you run the risk of um, 
a shortage on tests for people that actually need it. Well, I think, yeah, that's too. I think a lot of people don't have it, but they're also making believe they have it, which I heard that that, that got happened at Jones Beach. The other I don't day. know, man. Why would you even make believe yeah. that? I don't even, I don't know. Because people just wanted to get a test. They yeah, but there's probably the... people, I don't think it's make believe. There's probably people that have, like like we said, like allergy symptoms or maybe even just just a cold or whatever. Or the basic it, influenza too. A lot of people have basic. Yeah, influenza you can even too. get the yeah, you can have the the actual flu and not even realize it and think, oh shit, I have the yeah. you know I have the virus and right away, you know. But um, I don't know. It is what it is. But um, obviously once this thing blows over, um, it'll be nice to get together with a lot of people. Yeah, just to get out or whatever. Mm -hmm. I, I feel like yeah. I feel like. Maybe not right away because I, I, I'm sure there's going to be several or not several. Um, I'm sure there's going to be a lot of people that are still, uh, you know, still going to play it safe and play it, uh, you know, and be a little more cautious. But, dude, I feel like once everything is actually, actually normal, you're going to have restaurants, especially because by then I'm, I'm hoping oh, people, are gonna go nuts. people are going to be going nuts. Bars are going to be packed. Yeah. Restaurants are going to be packed. You know, and then Which also, they should. I think that I think life should come back, man. No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not saying that those that shouldn't happen. But at the same time, it's going to suck for people that actually want to go out to either their favorite place or another place because everything's going to be fucking packed. And you're not even going to be able to move. Yeah, you're right about that. You know I, mean, I mean, I think people should have more home gatherings too, which I'm going to start. I'll start arranging. Too, House you know? parties are going to be another thing. Um, that's a that's actually yeah. a really good point. I didn't even think of that. Um, how's people are going to be throwing house parties, rooftop parties. And like I said, and, and what also fits into this equation is the, is the better weather, you know, did we get yeah, lucky that that's this the happened? first thing I think I'm going to do is a barbecue. Oh, uh, is a BBQ. I'll bring the steaks. All right. Whatever. I'm I will say this, it up, though. it's gotta be, it's dependent on whether I'm, we're still on workers comp pay or unemployment pay. Because if I'm still in workers' comp pay, I can't bring steaks, dude. I, I'm sorry, I'm not making it enough. But if I'm making this uh, this uh, supposed eleven hundred dollars uh, a week, mink, yeah, I'll bring, bro, I'll bring, check. I'll bring whatever, how many, however many filet mignons I can carry in each arm. I'll just that's. I'm curious if James logged on if he saw that. I don't think he logged on at nine o'clock at night. Be good to know. I don't think he can log on now. Oh, you can log on anytime as long as you have a user ID. All right. Well, James. I could, you, I could log on right now and take a screenshot. But what are you taking a screenshot of? What of the uh, two checks. What do you see? You take this. You could take a screenshot of the two checks that are coming into your account. And this is what? What? what where are you going to see this? Unemploymentinsurancenewyork.com. Uh, All right. James, why don't you go on? I mean, I don't know if he's doing anything right now. Um, I don't even know if he's still on here. Um, very true. But you forgot to hashtag it, bro. Come on. Days quarantine together are better. Uh, go on the... Pat, Pat's telling you to go on the website and um, and see if you can see the checks. Take a screenshot of it. Yeah, we'll check it out. But, um, shit. Yeah. So like I said, so she tried to do that earlier today and she just, she got fed up. She couldn't, it just kept, the page kept going down. She had to kind of reload. Did she it. go online and do it? Well, here's the, here's the other thing I was about to say. So apparently the only way you can access it is through internet Explorer, which her laptop doesn't have. So I had to lend her my, uh, my, my old Samsung galaxy tablet and she was using a tablet. And it got it. She got to it. She filled out what she had to fill, but it literally just kept redirecting her, and it kept loading and, and crashing. That's very weird. I mean, I filed my claim online. Well, that's what everybody did, but I don't know what it is. And this is the third time she's tried. Oh, that's weird. And the other thing is asking her for information that she can't even provide. They're asking her from a W two form for an employee that she's currently with. But she's only been with them for a couple of months, and that started this year. So that that W two wouldn't be generated till next year. So it doesn't make any sense. No, it could be a, a it could be a working W two as well. Oh, a working W two. Yeah. 
Where would she get that information from? The the code or whatever she needs to have. Uh what the I haven't now? dude, I haven't filed unemployment in eight years. I had to file it eight years ago. Um I'm trying to wait, so to file for the employer that she works for now? Yeah. She would have to call them. That's what I and said. Get that um, federal number. Yeah. Yeah, that's all. Always a good topic of conversation. Uh, us all standing on that federal red line or government, uh, getting that government cheese. Excuse me, sir. Do you have any more bread? That's. I mean. Yeah, I'm close to. Uh, uh, I'm close to texting. I'm close to texting that number that's giving away free food. Did you did you see, did you see my story? No, I, wait, no, I didn't see that. Who's giving away? I put that on my Instagram story. So apparently, there's a number you can text in New York. Um, I think it said the five boroughs, and basically, you text this number, and you confirm your. Uh, I guess you've confirmed your zip code or something like that. I forgot what it was, and it sets you up. And supposedly these pantries or whatever, wherever these locations are, are throughout the, the, the city. And okay. it, they're giving away bags of groceries for free for people that need it. No questions asked. Wow. You go That's there, crazy. you pick it up. They just hand you a bag of groceries for people that are hungry. I mean, obviously I'm not at that point, so I wouldn't do that. I'm not going to take away food from people that actually need it, but I think that's a great idea, but I feel like at this point, you know, I'm not there yet, knock on wood, but, you know, who knows what's going to happen in another few weeks or a month. Yeah, see, like, I don't know. You really can't put a date or a time on this thing. You really can't. I think people are really making some crazy uh, suggestions or ideas well, on what's going to happen. You're forgetting, you're, forgetting one, you're forgetting one big thing, dude. And less than a week away. It's less than a week, dude. The churches will be open. The apex. No. It's going to be Easter. It's going to be beautiful. Beautiful. The we're millions. Open, we're opening up the churches. You Mill comment. The you commented, yeah, you commented on the on the chat. Millions and millions. There's Are you going to church? To turn me off about that. You going to church on Easter or no? I did. I did live mass. I did a uh, TV on um, TV Palm Sunday. Yeah, Ashley. Uh, Ashley watches church on uh, TV every uh, or on YouTube every and Sunday. Every Sunday. I think it was still. I think it was good. The St. Patrick's uh, live mass, but I still think they were all packed in there together. I don't know why they were. But I guess they feel like they're closer to God. They're not going to get sick. Um, they're mistaken. Geez. Good luck with that. I'm not sure. Hey, you dropped your wallet. Did you drop your wallet? Who, me? Yeah, you. You dropped your wallet? No. You can't You can't tell me you don't miss that, dude. Oh, yes. What do you think I was talking about? I do you miss work a lot. No, I... Do you think I literally I meant you dropped your wallet? Like, I can see that from here. No, I was going along with a joke, but I oh. do miss that, though. Yeah. I do. It's funny the things that you miss, that you complain about on a daily basis or two or three times a week, and the things you miss. You know, I tell you, let me let me explain something. I mean, just being able to go out to a park, um, going to a store, not having to worry about any 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 illness or whatever. Um, yeah. Going to the movies, going um, going out to eat, enjoying your favorite restaurant, just having a bar, just having a drink. Anal rape. These are all things that you say, I wish, you know, I wish we can do, you know? Yeah. I mean, I really hope it puts a, a different aspect on the way people look at life. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it all sucks what's happening now, but people were very cold and mean. There was a lot of bad things in the world. There really was. I don't care what anybody says. I'll admit it. You know, there was a lot of hatred and everything in this world. I hope this really opens people's eyes. Well, a lot of keep a lot of people keep saying it, you know. And I, if I'm rehashing it, if it's uh, if it's uh, overkill, then so be it. But a lot of people are saying it. It's almost it's almost as if the world needed like a reset. You know, yeah, um, I believe it. Uh, I know a lot of people are reporting, and I don't know how much of it is true, but like you know, certain uh, 
certain oceans look clearer or certain certain rivers look clearer now and stuff like that and you know wildlife seems to be blooming a little bit more you know i'm i'm not doubting it i'm definitely not doubting it um maybe that is what we need but at the same time i mean there's really not many people not all i mean i think for the majority uh for the majority of the the majority of the people are listening but you still have those you know that 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 big cluster of assholes that just don't seem to take the fucking hint those people those people stand behind the first amendment they really do no but they're the reason why instead of yeah. things possibly clearing up now we have to wait yet another month you know which you're right about yeah you know from your yeah dude from your mouth to god's ears you know that's what everybody's saying but I mean, you I always think, uh, this whole thing it really opened everyone's eyes, though, because not only certain people were affected, everyone was now. You know, this wasn't just that random terrorist attack or epidemic in one country, and it might come here. This affected everyone. Well, that's you know? what I was saying. I was saying that in one of my other streams. Um, it has affected everybody, but it's affecting everybody in it a has. different way. You're either sick, you've either died from it, you know, or you're either suffering it from yeah. uh, from uh, from it financially. But a lot of people are relating it to other epidemics like 9-11 and stuff like that, which I don't agree with. You know, no. like those were no. incidents that I, happened in life. No. And that was out of our hands, too. Like there was you can't relate something to something that happened. I was like, I think it's very selfish. I don't know. I don't know about you, but I was alive for 9-11. I was. And I was, you know, I was here. Yeah, I was in New York. I'm, I'm old enough to remember it. Um and, and uh, I'm obviously old enough to remember now, dude, there was nothing shut down. The only thing that was shut down was lower Manhattan. I mean, yeah, yeah. they might have, they, they altered the way flights were uh, directed. Nobody can fly over Manhattan and stuff like that. And I'm sure there were to a degree, there were certain things that were either, um, delayed or, or, um, canceled or, you know, whatever, but life like this on a grander scale, remember that was New York. That was, you know, as, as. As populous as New York City is, and uh, you know, most people argue it's the center of the world, which you know it it, it is in a lot of uh, aspects. But it still it still was just confined to New York City. I mean, everybody felt for us, and people came and volunteered or whatever. But from other states, but this is a global. To compare it to nine eleven is just not fair. I mean, this is a global thing. No, there's a lot of people that do it though, and it gets me like. You know, like not did those people on nine eleven ask for that either? No, they didn't ask for that either. No. You know, you're lucky that you're able to tell the story about it and you weren't in their situ in, the, James, in their uh, situation. James said, uh, I don't see anything where it says you're getting more money. He has to log on and and go where it says uh file. Uh, James, I don't know. Uh if you're hearing that, it says you gotta go where it says file. Again, I don't know. I have no idea what that website area. looks like. Honestly, I'm glad I don't have to deal with that shit right now. I could take a screenshot for him, but it's definitely there. All I can say right now, if anybody is on watching us live, drop a comment below. We don't bite. Just stay six feet away. That's all I ask. That's it. That's all anybody can ask right now. Right? Yeah, right now. And it's so weird even saying it to your own family and friends. It's so weird. But I guess you have to, you know? Yeah. No, it's not a, it's not a joke. It really isn't. Uh, right now, um, uh, Ashley's gra grandmother actually has pneumonia, and she's not doing well, and nobody can go and visit her. Yeah, that's the worst. My best friend, Dean, his uh, grandfather was just tested positive last night. And if he's watching, uh, my prayers are for him and his family. Wait. We just found out last night. I got the phone call. Oh, last night. Yeah, he called. Yeah. I thought for some reason, I because I think your uh, your audio broke up briefly when you said that. I, I It sounded like you said last May. I was like, what are you talking about? But last no, night. No, he gotcha. called me yesterday and gotcha. he told everyone. So we did a FaceTime with all of them and we were trying to cheer him up. But uh, it sucks. It does suck because if you get it, you're alone. If you're older, yeah. you're alone. Nobody can come and visit you. 
You know, if you don't have so it, people that aren't taking it serious, you're better off being alone right now and staying healthy. They don't. They don't. Or being in a hospital. But and, they don't see it. That, they don't see it that way. They don't see it I that know. way. It's, no. Because, like I said earlier, the thing is, um, the majority of people probably have had it, but it just they didn't even realize they had it. You know, and that's exactly how you. That's how you spread it. If you're sick yeah. and you're not feeling well, you're going to think to yourself, oh, shit, you know, either I have it or maybe I'm just sick. You're going to stay home. You're not going to go out. But if you're like, oh, yo, I'm Mr. Tough Guy. This ain't going to fucking hurt me. You might have actually had it, not even had symptoms. And then you guess what? You just went to the store. You did your normal everyday fucking routine. And you, you might have bumped into or got too close to somebody that is fucking and susceptible spread it to, to a it. couple people. Yeah. And you, you might have given it to them just because you were a fucking douchebag. I mean, it crossed my mind if I ever had it. I don't know. I don't know. I haven't never had a cold, so I don't even know. Well, I haven't had a cold in over a year. I've always dealt with upper respiratory issues when I was younger. My girlfriend has asthma. Um, it's just not something that we want to risk. Um, I mean, and you know, you know how. No, I mean, all joking aside, I'm not even. It's not even a joke. You know how often I get sick. I mean, you work with me. Yeah. They got out of the, out of. Out of the, uh, I can't, what's the word I'm trying to say? Out of the total possible, uh, the total possible amount of days I should have worked during a year, I think it's generally usually half of that when I'm, when I'm there. No, but the thing is, I'm not even, that's not even a joke. It's not even like meant to be, you know, it's the truth. It's because I either get fucking bronchitis or I get fucking, um, really bad yeah. allergies where it gives me fucking sinus infections because I have a fucking deviated septum or whatever. It, I always get the stupidest and most random shit. And that's why I don't want to fuck with this thing because I know how I am. Dude, I'll right, never right. forget. I'll never forget. And I was actually thinking about this the other day. I was, uh, I was 18 years old and, uh, wait, was I 18? 17 no i was 17 because i was still in high school but I, it was i was going to be 18 anyway so i'm in school it was around march and uh it was right before like easter break and i wasn't feeling well and i kept telling my mother and she kept thinking i was doing it to get out of work i mean to get out of school and i was like no there's something yeah. I, like i don't know what it is i keep getting a um i keep getting a uh uh, what do you call it? I keep getting a low grade temperature. It goes on and off. I just don't feel well. I have a little bit of a cough. She's like, all right, all right, whatever. And like she, you know, she humored oh, yeah. me. What? I'm listening. I'm listening. I'm just grabbing something. All right. I'll wait. Don't worry. We're, it's not like we're live. Go ahead. Take your time. No, sorry about that. But I didn't want to, I didn't want to lose the connection. I mean, you did. It did. It went away. Yeah, I mean, it didn't go away. You're just, you're just branded. I mean, again, this is what I see. I don't know what everybody else is seeing. I don't know what all our two watches are, are seeing right now. What does it show now? Just shows your face. You're uh, branded on it. Anyway, I, I got your rodeo. Your 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 video will come up soon. Let me just finish this really quick because I don't want to. I don't even know why I'm bringing it up. But I'm bringing it up. So, so I I was I told her and I kept trying to convince her. So she humored me and she made an appointment with my uh my uh my doctor. So. I was meeting up my friend Rocco when I was walking. We were walking to the doctor because the doctor was only half a mile away. And as we're walking, and I'm still I'm still coughing, and I cough so much, and I'm on the corner. I'm on the street corner with my friend. We just literally meet up because we're about to go to the doctor, and I start spitting up fucking blood, like pure fucking blood. So I'm like, Rocco, I got to go back home. So That's I go back crazy. Home. Yeah, I, I go back home. My mother's on the phone with my aunt, and I'm on the she's on the phone or whatever. I come in, I barge in, and I'm like, You thought I was fucking around? You think I'm kidding around? I just start coughing and I spit the blood up all in the fucking sink. I'm like, what do you think of that? So she's like, and uh she was talking to my aunt Tony. She's like, Ann, uh, Antoinette, I gotta go. We went, we ended up going to the uh the emergency room. Um, and several hours later, I was uh I was um diagnosed with walking pneumonia. I fucking had walking pneumonia and I knew something was wrong. I knew I wasn't feeling well. And, um, and that was that. But my point was, I always got this fucking, 
the stupidest shit growing up. And I even have the craziest story, but I don't even, I don't want to get into that. But uh, my friend Andrew says, no, what's up, still, guys? You, know, you can even Sorry I'm late to the show. I don't think he said. What? Oh, this is your other friend, right? Yeah, you know. Is my, is my video back on? Yeah. It's not. No, you're in the you're in better lighting, but um it moved. You it, it switched uh but you're still um Where It doesn't matter. Don't worry. So much, people, but still people can still hear you. It's not it's don't worry about it. It's not bad. So, you know what? Now, now I want to say it. Fuck it. So, and uh now that Andrew's here, he can attest to uh this because we were in um shit, I think we were in we were sophomores at the time. Andrew, I think we were sophomores, right? Remember, you know, when I had the uh, the rash on the ass, everybody said I had a rash on my ass. Anyway, um, I think February of uh, 94 or March of 94, I had um, really bad um, uh, strep throat. And I went to the doctor. They gave me the medicine. Um, and I took it, but I didn't finish the bottle. I don't know why. I don't know if I thought I was Superman. My, my sore throat was gone. I thought I was better. And I didn't think anything of it. So one day I'm in my living room, not my living room, I'm in my dining room, my family, my parents, I'm eating dinner. And uh, I noticed on my legs, I have all these freckles. Like my legs are just extremely itchy. I don't know what's going on. And I have all these freckles and I'm like, what the fuck is going on? So my mother's like, we got to go to the emergency room. My dad's like, I'm not going to the fucking emergency room. He's got a fucking rash. My mother's like, no, no, there's something wrong. There's something wrong. Anyway, long story short, because I don't want to go on it too long. Um, the infection that I had, the strep that I had in my, in my throat infected my blood because I didn't take the medicine to its full course. It infected my blood. So That's what crazy. it does- I've never heard that. Wow. What it would have done eventually- was it would have infected all my joints because it did because all the do my legs the freckles that I had in my legs literally started joining together making these huge blood clots it was the most painful thing in the world my ankles swell swelled up all my joints swelled up it was all water um and what were they the, uh, the medical about? term for it was the well, the medical term was henoch showline purpur and basically was it it was strep blood that's all it was the strep, whatever it was, the infection, because I didn't get to it, uh, because I didn't finish the medication, it literally infected my blood, and it eventually would have went to my heart and all my other, my all of my other uh, major organs, and I would have died. And I was only uh, fifteen, going on sixteen. But this, what I'm trying to get, to, crazy. it was it was the long way to get to there. But what I was trying to get to there is that's why I don't want to fuck with COVID. Um, I've been hit with so much, so many random shit. And I've been, I've been, I feel like I'm sick like at least two or three times a year. So no, I'm good. I'm done. I agree with you, man. I mean, listen, I do? go out, I do my run, but James says, you know, I just uh, try to stay fit. James says, fade to Pat. I mean, f uh, I mean, black. Cause you, uh, you went, your uh, screen went black for a minute. Now it's back. Yeah. No, now you're good. Yeah. Now you're good. But uh, no, I'm totally with you, man. I, I just now I'm just doing my workouts in the house. Okay. Andrew said that was scary. You were really sick for a long time. I always tell people to finish the antibiotic. Yeah, exactly. I mean, I learned my lesson yeah. there. I did. And I was sick. I was out of school for almost two months. And because of it, I actually had to go to fucking summer school. It was the only year I ever had to do it. I, I hated it. It was only for one class. Um, but um, and it was for English too. You would think I I I know how to I know how to speak English, but um, yeah. Apparently, I guess I I just I, I fell so far behind that um, whatever. It sucks. It's crazy. So the, you know that's what it is, man. I mean that's what that's what we have to deal with. If that's what it takes to be sane, if that's what it takes to have a little um, a little uh, what do you call it um, peace of mind. Downtime. Yeah. No, just having a peace of mind. That's why I don't want to even chance it. You know, I do do it. Do I want to go out? Yeah. Have I gone out? I haven't gone. I'm not going to lie. I, I, it's sad, but I even, I haven't even stepped out of my house in over a week other than to throw out the garbage or go check the mail. That's it. 
Yeah, I mean, last time I saw you, I think it was over two weeks ago. We it's over, yeah, it's been over two weeks. I mean, that was the last time I was even semi-social. And even then, we were wearing masks and shit, you know? Yeah, well, we were being careful, you know? I still, uh, I still want I to... Hope, I hope it gets, like, uh, more controlled and people get to have, like, home test kits and make sure they don't have it and blah, blah, blah. Well... Uh, it's probably going to take time. Well, I will say this. I know we were talking about one of the first things we want to do when we come back from this, whether it's a bar, a restaurant, movie theaters, or even just house parties. Now, I kind of know now what I want to do. I think the first thing I want to do when we uh, when we get out of this is I need that rematch, bro, of that uh, of that race between you and I. Oh, oh, I don't know, man. I've been training hard. Now. I know you've been training hard, but it bothers me. It bothers me a lot. You know, I mean, granted, yes. Am I going to be 42 this year? Of course. Am I out of shape? You fucking betcha. Even though I lost almost four pounds, but that's only because I'm I'm trying to. It was a know. close race, though. It was a close race. No, dude, it wasn't. You know what? It was close. We were running. I neck also and have neck. a lot of weight on me. No, we were running neck and neck. We were. I just can't run for a long time. That was never my, I was never able to run for a long time. But I still say, because I had to fucking divert and there was too many people on that path and I had to run on the grass and shit like that. Then I had to catch up with you. I'm telling you, if we do it the right way and if I, you know, maybe I get in a little bit of shape, maybe trim a couple more pounds. I, I, you know, it bothers me. You know, is it, is it an ego thing? Is it, you know, I'll take the challenge. I'll take it. You don't understand, bro. I was always but known. just know that I've been. I'm, I will be training in the next couple of weeks. Hard. I was always known for my speed. Ask anybody on my block growing up. Ask my ex girlfriends. I was always known for being too fast. Always. Yeah, you probably beat me. Let's see. Do it. If you could beat, if, if but I will. Uh, I'll accept the challenge. But we have to do it where it's a sprint and not a long run. I can't beat you in a long run. I already know that. I mean, dude, you run seven miles. I can't run seven seconds. Yeah. But um. All right. But from from point A to point B, short distance. I put it in high gear. That's yeah. it. Yeah, that's it. Give it a go. Maybe not drink any beers that night. Yeah. You know what I mean. I hear you. Where are you going now? Stop opening the fridge. No, I'm going to. I have to get. That she wants me to try this dinner. Oh, come on. You're going to eat a piece Dina. of cake in front of me, bro? I can't have cake. I'm fucking starving. <laughs> you trying that cake? Yeah, I need, I, need a bar, I need a barber ASAP. You, you need a what? Oh, a barber. Yeah, yeah, barber. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Tell me about That's it. It's horrible. Yeah, Andrew, apparently you're the only one that got that. So, I mean, honestly, you don't even have to ask an ex-girlfriend. You can just ask my girlfriend now, but. Apparently, Pat, that went over your head when I said that. What? Yeah, I know it was a long time ago, but I'm, I am I can still run pretty quick. I mean, I, I don't usually do it that much, but that you is the 10 thing. years on me, that's it. That is the thing. I got like 12 years on you. What the fuck are you talking about? No, it's just 10. How old are you? 42? You're going to be 32 December, aren't you? Yeah, so, so you're 42, right? Not 10 and a half years. No, not even. Uh, less than that because you're we're only four months away. Listen. Maron. Minga. Your, this is your, nice we get to get on and talk. Yeah, it is. It is. And um at the same time, uh, you know, I hope uh I hope it's uh semi entertaining for other people. Besides, uh I think right now our only audience is James and my friend Andrew. But um, you know, if anybody finds this stream later on, so be it. Um I enjoy not only talking to you, Pat, but I also enjoy engaging with uh, you know, whether it's Andrew or James. Anybody else wants to come in here in the live chat. That's what these live stream do. They open up a live chat where people can comment real time. You know, it might be delayed by a few seconds or whatever, but even still, it's still cool. It is. Nice well, to get this chance, you know. Well, I mean, Andrew, your 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 prime years are in your are in are in your twenties. So, 
I mean, with the exception of like Tom Brady and Brett Favre, who really goes into their 40s anyway, you know? I mean, you and I are, we are definitely elite athletes. So, I mean, I'm definitely elite. I've been wanting to play, and I and Pat, I told you this a while ago. I I really wish we could do this. Um, I've been wanting to play softball. I really have been wanting. To, I mean, I, I mean, I know I can't do that now, but that be before I got hurt, that kind of thing, I would love to play a game of softball, bro. I mean, especially once I get better, you know. No, that would be good. We should get that going. That would be. Cool. I'm hoping I could still do that. If I could do it, if I if we go to play softball and I can't I can't play that game, that is when I realized I'm just a failure in life, because these are things that I no because these are things that I did growing. I mean, granted, I haven't played in like maybe a decade, um, which is the the odd the uh you know the God's honest truth. But I mean, that's something that I did as a kid, like almost every fucking day, whether it's softball or street ball and shit like that. I don't know. No, it's true, you know. It sucks because that would be my only way of being active. <sighs> I would love it. Yeah, James, me, uh, we all used to go to McCarrion. I loved McCarrion Park. Yeah, that tastes good, yeah. You want a sure, yeah. Bad, you ever play uh, Manhunt? Yeah, back in the day, of course. Yeah, you used to play Manhunt with your friends? That was one of the best games. I loved fucking Manhunt. That was another thing we did, but we used to do it at night. Obviously, it was harder uh, harder to find people. Yeah, it was hard. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah. Times have changed, though. Nobody even does that anymore now. Well, here's the thing, though. They might actually be playing Manhunt. How would you know? You you have to go fucking find them. And you're staying six feet away. No, not now, but I'm saying in general, if people, if, if you were walking through a neighborhood, let's say now, obviously you you wouldn't even know, you can notice if people are sitting on stoops like they used to, or just like crowding on a corner or whatever, like kids used to just like talk on a corner for hours. Um, you know, like the whole night, that's what our, that's what our neighborhood looked like would be a corner full of kids, whether, you know, sitting on a stoop or not. But if they're playing man on, how the fuck would you know? They're hiding on roofs. They're hiding underneath cars. I mean, that's what you had to do to win. Mod on, look at that cake. That's true. Oh my god, this cake looks amazing. Can... Bro, it smells like lemon ricotta. It smells like lemon ricotta. No, I showed them right? the cake. Do me a favor. Such cut a piece up. And, cut a piece up and just drive by and just hand it to me. It's all right. I can hear it. You would you mind doing that? Just driving by and like, we'll time it where you throw it out the window and so I'll catch it. To deliver a slice. Ten dollars a piece. You know what? Use my FedEx account. My friend Andrew wants it. Wants a piece. All right. You don't have to it keep showing it. Yeah, I thought you went into another room. How the fuck did you go back and take another? Is that delayed or is that you showing it again? Oh, no. Just taking order. Well, right now I wanted one. I think James said to run that cake, so he wants you to run it. Um, Yo, run that, run that cake soon. I'll take a piece. Yeah, see, James, it's a hot it seller. keeps saying, yeah, just keep throwing it. Keep throwing it in our face that you, you that you're gonna have whatever. Look, even my girlfriend came in. Look, look, got a special she message. In? Yeah, she goes, "You're a jerk. I want a fucking piece of cake." <laughs> Ash, that's how strong fucking cake. That's how strong that that. Come scent, by, bro. Yo, come by, bro. You're more than welcome. The, that lemon Just regard. Bring a mask and come over. You're more than welcome. Come over with a mask, though. Yeah, but if you wear a mask, then you, you can't eat your fuck face. Come on, I'm not stupid. You got a mask on. How are you? Six feet away in the hallway. Oh, wait a minute. You got to put a hole. hole. You cut a hole in the middle, right? What? Yeah. I got to try this cake. Oh, that was a nice floor. I like that floor. This cake. 
Come on, don't do a taste test Little on. Kalua. Oh man. You're gonna have Kalor? Do you drink Kalua? Kalua, man. Kalua on uh, just on ice. Kalua on ice. No, it's Bailey's on ice. Oh well, that's different. You know, Kalua and Bailey's are two different things, right? It's phenomenal. Cheers. Well, I don't have any. I drank all my Prosecco, so I'll, I'll cheers. Uh, uh, here's my cheers to you. Cheers to everybody it's watching, too. You know, you could have. The one time we wanted your screen to go black would probably be just now. This is probably, at this point, is probably going to be the clearest and, 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 and the most. Uh, Uninterrupted stream right now is you eating a fucking piece of cake. The whole time you're going black, you're doing this, you, you're walking, you're you 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 you're working out shirtless. But now, of course, excellent. I mean, listen, I could do a workout video after I have this piece of cake if anybody wants to stay on. No, I'm good. I'm good with that. Yeah. But no, the taste I test passed. So what is? It's literally just a lemon ricotta cake. Which store in it? Lemon ricotta cake, yeah. You mean regat, right? Regat? Yeah, regatta. She shaved the lemons down, fresh flour, fresh everything. Well, let me tell you something. If the lemon is shaved, I want it even more now. I'm not going to lie. Pass the test. They passed the Mario test or the door test? Oh, madan. Mean that. Madan. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, dude, if you want to go eat your cake, go ahead. I mean, we're at almost an hour anyway. Um, I can end now if you want. No, good everyone. I wish I want more people to come on, man. It would be more fun too. I think we hit our apex, bro. We're at three people now. We're we're uh we're uh we're at three people. It was good. I want to do this more. Well, if anybody wants to do workout videos, I'm going to start doing that as well. Well, you know what? It wouldn't. I mean, I don't want you to take any of my viewers away. So you know, calm down. I don't want you to take any of my two or three viewers away. But um, that actually wouldn't be a bad idea. I know Ashley was even thinking about doing a yoga because uh, she does yoga and she wants to do like a yoga uh, YouTube. I did a two-hour workout today in my home and I mm -hmm. burned almost fifteen hundred calories. And I would lead it. I don't mind teaching anybody. I did a um. I did a binge eating uh, earlier today, and I think I and you ate fifteen hundred uh, calories. calories. I think I consumed about two thousand calories. Mean gaffa. How well? How many calories are in a Milano cookie? Well, if you want to, if you want to set it up, let me know. Set what up? We could do like different activities. I could do my workout seminar. I could do my workout part. We can get other activities people do at home. You're talking about doing workout. You know what I was looking up on Amazon today? Do you want to you want to hear how crazy I am? What I was looking up on Amazon, I was gonna get. And let me know if this is something that you'd be interested in, or if anybody any of my friends are interested in this. I was looking at getting a wheel. You know, a wheel that you can spin, and I was gonna write shit in it, and then whatever the wheel, oh, that's a really whatever cool the wheel idea. lands on. Yeah, like you have to tell me like your your most embarrassing moment, or you know, it's not truth or dare. We're not like six year old. We're not like thirteen year old girls. You but can come up with your own wheel. You don't even have to. You don't even have to buy one. You can make your own wheel. Yeah. How how am I gonna make a wheel? I could do it. Why well, you Very make a easy. wheel? Well, guess all right. Make a wheel, and then we can have it at your house. Then that's actually perfect. I didn't even think of that. I could start it tomorrow. All right. Everything could be made with cardboard, plastic. Very easy. And then we can uh, we can go over and we could talk about what we would have in that wheel. You know, it could be random shit like you know, take a shot or uh, take a sip of your drink. It doesn't have to be a shot because I really don't like shots. But um, you know, shit like that it doesn't yeah. have to be necessarily a drinking game, but just to put a whole bunch of random shit on the wheel. You know, or we can play Russian roulette. It's up to you. I'm I'm you know it's up. I, I don't yeah. have fun, but we could do that too. No, we wouldn't do that. But 
I would, if you can do the wheel thing, that actually would be pretty cool. Right? I could do that. Yeah. But just make sure you bring in some, uh, maybe bring in some lemon regat. Lemon regat. Ziploc's better. But yeah, we could, uh, I'll, uh, I'll enjoy this now. Well, Andrew, Caveman. Anybody uh, want to place an order? Let me know. Caveman, uh, what do you call it? Also helped us with Geico insurance, too. But yeah, he's right. The Caveman, yeah. they, they made a wheel, bro. We can do it, right? I'll set it up. If you want to get this going, we could do it in a night or two, and I'll set up the wheel. Like I said, I think it'll be really fun. Uh, we just have to we have to put the right things in the wedges. That way, um, it makes the game interesting. You know. Yeah, that would be good. I mean, I was even thinking we can do it with dice, but I just don't know if everybody has dice. That way, it's it's fair because everybody has the control to to roll the dice on their own. Not somebody somebody isn't you know being the designated spinner, but yeah. You know, I just, I don't know. I was just thinking of ways to interact and, and, you know, hang out with, uh, with people. And if we do it live stream on YouTube, so be it, you know? Listen, I could FaceTime you tomorrow and I could start doing the, uh, sketching it out and everything. James, I don't know about the world series of dice. Where, where, where are we? Where, where, where are we? We, are we in the South side, uh, South side of Williamsburg? Jesus. Uh, well, that check was a, that out, man. Make sure he's getting his money. I get it. I get it. It was a Dave Chappelle uh, reference. I got it. I got it. That's right. We just talking about the the other night too. All right, uh, Pat. I'll let you go. But if you want to get a couple of guys, yeah. If you guys want to get a couple of guys on, I'll set up a. I'll set up the wheel. We could do it in a night. I've been, two. Telling, I I've been telling Andrew. Uh, James has already been on here, so whatever. Uh, uh, James, James, I know we'll do a live stream. Um, I'm trying to get just set up a group text. Let's pick a let's pick a time and a day, and we all do this. All right. I think it'll be we fun. All bring on and a drink, and we all talk. Listen, the more um, I think it'll work. The more we have to plan this out, the better. I just I don't want to I don't want to rush into it. You know. I think we could just set up a group text, and we could have it go in a day or two. I'll set up. Oh group. no! Oh, that's what you said. Group text? No, definitely not. No, no group text. But we can all talk to to each other randomly you know but group text no all right you know no. how i am yeah i don't i don't respond to group text i don't like those okay but uh yeah exactly uh all right let me know all right well enjoy your uh your lemon ricotta cake hey it's regard it was enjoyable i'm gonna eat some but i enjoyed this thanks for this i enjoyed this do you have a side of gabagool magarosi Actually, dude, I'm now I'm craving. All right, something. everybody, I'm craving gabagool. All right, yeah, you go do your thing. Uh, thanks for coming on. Thanks um, for everybody listening. Uh, thanks Ashley, for thank you on. for thank you for commenting. Uh, she, you know, she said before she uh, she went off, just bring the cake over. Uh, thanks once again. You for come Andrew. here. You guys have to come here. I'll pass it out the door. If you want, come now. All right. Well, not gonna come now. I don't want to lose a spot. I'm parked right in front of the house. Come on, bro. Come on. What did I just say? You know what? Not Fuck it. All righty. I'm. We're making our own cake tomorrow. I'm gonna buy all the fucking shit. We'll make our own cake tomorrow. All right. And then I'll do a taste test on uh, right. on stream. But uh, thanks again for anybody watching. Thanks again to uh, Andrew James and uh, obviously my girlfriend for coming on and dropping a comment. We'll go live again. Um, I don't want to do this every day. I don't want people to get too worn out. Um, with this pretty face. But um. For anybody watching right now, uh, thanks again. For anybody who is going to uh, end up watching this uh, on syndication, anybody watching this during the reruns, please drop a comment. Please hit that like button. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. This has been Just Your Average Joe with my friend Pat. Via, 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 via. Uh, Pat, thanks again. Have a good night, guys. All right. Good night, James. Good night. Uh, take care, Andrew. I want to, he left, but I just want to say goodnight to you guys. Uh, well, what about me, Andrew? You don't want to say goodnight to me? <laughs> you don't want to say goodnight to me? Anyway, no, uh, all joking aside. Thanks, guys. Love you all. Talk to you soon. Signing out.